Hi there, this video will demonstrate how to auto-generate a phasor diagram for a series RLC circuit through Excel. Let's go into the Excel. What we've got on this page here is explaining the theory of a series RLC circuit. It's a resonant circuit. What does resonant mean? It means it's got peak response. When do we get peak response? At a particular supply frequency, the voltage across the coil will equal the magnitude of the voltage across the capacitor. These voltages are 180 degrees phase shift. So what will happen at that point is these voltages will cancel out to leave an effective short circuit across the L and the C. And the only opposition to current flow is then the resistor and whereby we will reach peak current. Let's go into our Excel. So what we've got here is supply voltage 10. We've got a different range. We've got a range of frequencies that we're calculating XL and XE, the circuit impedance Z and the circuit current I and the phase shift at different frequencies for the same component values of 100 ohms, 0.7 henrys, 27 microfarads. And what we get here is we can see in the graph we're plotting current against the horizontal, which is frequency, and we get a peak in current at a particular resonant frequency, which is determined by this equation here. If we generate a phasor diagram with the phasor lines starting from the origin, what we can go see here is we've got VR there, we have got VC there, and what we've got there is VL. Now these vectors, these phasors, are in two dimensions. These are drawn as effectively polar night citation and they're drawn from the origin. Effectively what we have, if we add the three voltage vectors together, the three voltage phasors for the voltage drop across each of the three components, uh, we must get back to the supply voltage of 10 volts. In this one, we've started them all at the origin. What if we add the voltage phasors together? We've started at VR at that point. Then we add on VC at the end of VR. We go to the end of VC and we add on VL. And lo and behold, we get to the end point of the supply voltage draw of phasor, line back to the origin. And that makes the supply voltage against Kirchhoff's voltage loss, which is effectively energy conservation. So what happens if we go here, we've got a particularly wide range here. As the resistance increases, the Q factor, which is the width here, goes down, which is not particularly wanted. So Q quality factor is X over Z. So what if we change our R value lower what we do is we get a more peak response, which is increasing the Q factor. And if we go to our phasor diagrams, they automatically update. We go to the one that adds the three voltage vectors together. And again, they reach the end of the supply voltage, which they must do for the circuit to make physical sense. Thank you for watching.